Are you struggling to create loading animation in Figma, especially circular one? Then today we're going to make it really simple and easy with a different method so that there's no confusion and you create a simple cool loading animation in Figma. So let's start with it. Let's draw a cool circle here. You can change the color of the circle. So make sure that it's visible to you. And we're going to change the arc properties of the circle. Now you do, to change the arc properties, just select the circle and you can see this dot here and just click here and drag it so that you can change the arc properties of the circle. To create a circular loading animation, we need to change the ratio of the arc. So let's make it around 70%. It could be anything based on your look and feel you want to desire. And now let's adjust the sweep back to 100%. So this has created a nice ring for us. We'll keep this as it is. We'll just rename this ring and we are going to make a copy of this ring so i'll duplicate this and now we are going to change the color of this second duplicated ring to match the loading animation color which we want so let's say we want a loading animation something similar to this color so just change the color you can add any color which you want here now we have added the color to the loading animation now let's just rename this i'm renaming this to animation because this is the layer which we are going to animate and now to create the animation first we need to adjust the sweep again so let's adjust the sweep and we want it to start somewhere you know at the top so that we have sweep minus 25 percent so we start the animation from here and we rotate this entire circle for 360 degrees and to create animation in figma you already know that we need to use smart animate as interaction between multiple frames and to create nested animations we can use components so before we create a component first let's just rotate the circle and to rotate the circle you just have to duplicate this rotate this duplicated object to approximately 90 degrees which is minus 90 degrees you can see we are going to duplicate this again and this time we are going to rotate this further to make sure that you know we have a 180 degree rotation and then after that we are going to rotate it again one more time and this time it is going to be a complete 360 degree which is now rotation will be 90 degree so we have started from here we have rotated the first circle then we have rotated the second circle and then the third circle to create these four duplicate copies of the same circle now let's create the frames around each of them so let's select the first circle right click and say frame selection now this will create one frame leave it as it is let's select the second circle again right click and click on create frame selection so i'll do it same for all others right click and just click on frame selection i know this method is a bit lengthier than the other one the other short methods are there and there are a lot of tutorials on our channel so if you are not subscribed to the channel yet then do it right now and hit that bell icon and you can take a look at the different methods but this method is simplest and easiest approach to create a circular loading animation now you'd be seeing we have multiple frames here with different names so now we need to rename all of them so let's rename loading animation I'll select all and copy this name because we are going to reuse the same name again for all other frames and I'll just say slash one okay I'll select the second frame you can change the positions of the frame doesn't matter I'll say loading animation and then let's say two then third one is going to be loading animation slash three and the last one is going to be loading animation slash four so these four are different frames if you take the example of any traditional animation we create animations using keyframes and those are the different keyframes which we will be using to simulate our end-to-end -end 360 degree circular animation in any other animation tool the interpolation between the keyframes is automatically calculated and for the circular animation most of the animation programs calculate it correctly if you rotate one object from 0 degree to 360 degree but in figma if we do it let's say from the first frame to the fourth frame if we create only two frames then this animation will rotate it backwards not the complete 360 degree animation and that's why we need to create the four keyframes so that animation is rotated from this frame to this from this to this this to this so that way it has nice a complete 360 degree circular animation okay so let's just adjust the spacing a little bit because we are going to convert this into a component set so now we are going to create a component set from these frames but before that i'll give you one quick tip why we are given the names something like this so the reason of having the naming convention where you know we have name slash and then the number you can have anything after the slash so basically when you have name 
a forward slash and then another name so it basically loading animation will be named for a component and then anything after the forward slash will be named for the property of the component and in this case it would be an variant property okay so we will be creating loading animation component with its four variants by default and that's why we are using this name so loading animation slash one is going to be the first variant loading animation slash two is going to be the second variant and same way it is going to have four different variants so we'll be selecting all of these frames don't worry we are going to use this ring uh, you'd be seeing why we have created it but no worries we are going to use it so as of now we are not touching it so we have selected all these frames here and now we are going to create a component set from this so to create a component set, you just have to go to this comp create component button and just click on the arrow next to it so now here you can see create component set okay so now we have created this component with different variants you can see we have a property one and it has one two three four different values those are basically the variants of one single component loading animation and you can see here as well one two three four you can give them any other names but one two three four is easy and conventional to create the animation so i have just used those names uh, for the different frames we can consider them as frames as i already said or keyframes so now the part to create the interaction and make sure you already created the component and then you are creating the interactions because if you do it before creating the component then you will not able to create a change to interaction that would be ne navigate to and we don't want a navigate to interaction we want a change to interaction and change to interaction is only available inside a component okay so make sure you write down in the comment if you are enjoying this video so far or not and let's create a quick interaction now go to the prototype tab and to go to the prototype tab you can use shift e on the keyboard to switch between design and prototype tab i am under prototype tab and i'll create an interaction between all these variants here so from the first variant to second variant and this is going to be after delay this is very crucial step guys make sure you're selecting trigger as after delay and make sure you have delay to one millisecond not not more than that and then action has to be changed to as i already said we don't want navigate to we want a change to so that will just change the variant of the component and it will not go to the next frame that is very important and then we have to select the smart animate in the animation type and this is again one of the very crucial step where you would be seeing a jumpy or a bouncy animation if you change if you don't change the curve type to linear okay so if you have different animation curve selected here you would be seeing different animation behavior but to create a smooth loading animation we need to make sure that the animation curve is selected to linear okay and duration is something which you can adjust based on your look and feel and this is going to be trigger the speed of the animation so how slow and the fast animation you want so let's keep it 300 milliseconds the default timing okay now let's just click outside and do it the same for second variant to third variant and you would be seeing all of the settings which we have did in the first interaction are you know most of them are uh, preserved by the figma here so you can see animation and the curve and the duration is automatically selected by the figma so let's do after delay and for that let's make it one millisecond and let's do it same way for the second to uh, for the third to fourth variant and instead of on click let's make it after delay one millisecond and rest of the things are as it is which we have already configured and now from the last variant to the first variant so this step is again very important to create a endless looping animation so let's make it one millisecond so what exactly we are doing we are telling the figma okay after a delay of one millisecond change variant of this component from the property one to the property two and then when we change the variant of the figma and when we create the smart animate interaction then figma automatically calculate the interpolation between different frames so and how does it calculate the interaction uh, mm -hmm. the interpolation or the animation in the frames it makes sure that you know all the layers which has same name okay i'll just go to the design tab and you can see we have same name here animation uh, in the first variant as well and in the second variant as well so this is again very crucial thing so we have same name and same objects has different properties so what property is different in this so if you go here animation has you know rotation uh, of zero degree if, if you look look at here and when i select the animation from the second variant now the rotation is minus 90 degree so this is how the figma animation works so make sure when you create complex animations you give the proper namings to the layer and that is the reason we started giving the names to the layer okay now we have created a nice loading animation here for these different circles now let's bring any of these on a frame and to taste let's create a quick frame here 
a small frame is sufficient and let's just move this to the center you can have it anywhere it doesn't matter and now let's taste this interaction if it is working or not so to test this i'll just open it in the preview mode you can by the way use shift space to open it with the keyboard shortcut and let it load the animation and now you can see we have nice cool loading animation ready and now you'd be seeing okay what we are going to do with the ring and you might have already guessed it the ring is going to be our background frame okay so to do that you can simply use this ring in the same frame which you are testing but this is not a robust or a you know clean approach to use the background frame because if i move the rotation uh, or the component which where i have the loading animation my background is not going to move with it so to do that we can have one single frame which has both of them together so let's just you know bring everything out let's right click and let's say frame selection okay and let's just give it a name animation anything which you want or circular animation and now we can create one component from this as well so now let's quickly create a component and now we have a component which has a nested component loading animation now you'd be saying okay there are multiple components and when i'm publishing a design system it might create multiple components and it would be difficult to choose from which component to use and to solve that we can create one local component and to create a local component we just have to rename this so just start it with an underscore so i'm not sure if i'm zooming it and you are able to see it but yeah when we start the name of the component with underscore then it creates this component as a local component and this component is not going to get published with your design system and just to confirm if we are using the same updated component you can see we are using underscore in the name and yes we are using the correct component now time to get the instance of this component on our testing frame and to create an instance of the component it is very simple just hold option button and click and drag it on the frame or wherever you want to use it and now let's just play it again you can use shift space bar to preview the animation or you can do it from here as well and now you can see we have nice cool loading animation ready and now to change the color of the background ring and you just you know how to select this ring and you can change the color to whatever you want and you can see the color has been updated automatically guys in the same way you can create donut charts or the pie charts as well if you are interested in creating donut charts or the pie charts let me know in the comment we will create a dedicated video for that and yes till the next video keep watching keep learning keep designing